recording now. Awesome. Welcome, everybody. Kyle McGregor here coming from Southern California. We're going to be talking about one of the most uh, important factors of your business today in regards to sharing the information that we have. And we have we're, what we're doing is we're connecting the technology that we have today to be able to get to more people efficiently. But again, it's high tech versus high touch. When you have a high uh, touch, uh, high tech part of things, you be. Uh, this is not a uh, a company or a business about just just blasting it out. It's like taking a shotgun effect, right? What you want to do is build relations. This is a relationship building business. And so what you want to do is, is utilize the technology to be able to get to more people efficiently and then take that to be able to build those relationships. And those relationships is what you build over time, build that confidence, that trust, and help people understand how to build their, their business efficiently and effectively. And so we've got uh, the, the high tech, which is the, the technology side, to be able to reach more people efficiently, to bring them in so you can actually have those opportunities to build those relationships and get behind a quality product, quality company, that we can build something long term. So what I'm going to do is going to have uh, Mr. Micah, Gia uh, Micah Giadio be able to make sure he shares his screen here. If I said your name correct, <laughs> I, I'll get that correct someday. Sure. Giadio. Giadio, <laughs> you got it. Thanks, brother. <laughs> yeah, it's so it's so Italian sounding. Giadio, so I want to speak Italian when I say your name. You should um, the screen. We're up, buddy. <laughs> awesome. Well, we're very blessed and excited to be able to have some phenomenal presenters today, some people that have crazy success in traditional business as well in, in the direct sales space uh, that we're going to be able to see some of these uh, benefits of what we have. And, and what I would highly suggest is set your reminders. We've got phenomenal opportunities to tap into from Monday to Thursday opportunity overviews that you can actually invite your guests to see the opportunity of Euphoria, what it has to give an offer, okay? And so you can set your alarms, make sure you have a calendar event, whatever it may be, Facebook group notifications, even Facebook Messenger, but have that push uh, alerts you have. So Saturday and Sundays are training days, Monday through Thursday is an opportunity to share the vision of what we have here with Euphoria. And the next screen will actually show you how we can actually help you achieve that and benefit from that. Uh, if you text on your phone, Empire to 85775, just click the events that you want to be notified about. You're really like email 15 to 25% of, of read rate, right? App push uh, alerts is only 8%, opt-in 10%. Text messaging is 97% read rate. So guys, make sure you remind yourself of the events that you want to listen to, tap into, and remind others for. Uh, and the, the simplicity to be able to get that text message is text empire to 85775. And again, this is not a lead generation thing. No one's taking your information. Guys, this is just a... A blessing to have a, a, an opportunity to get reminded okay so make sure you utilize that and uh, mr. Micah, Micah has done that for us Mr. Giadio has had, uh, given that blessing to us to be able to have that opportunity to give us some reminders uh, again coming soon pra uh, practitioner uh, this is something that's coming down the road here in the next few months uh, it's not for you to sell or market to get out to market as of yet but there's something uh, a larger vision to see what is coming down the, the pipeline to be able to tap into practitioners that you know that you can actually um, take what we have with nutrition and customize it for their specific um, uh, practice, okay? For every client that they have to be able to get to their clientele base. So that's coming down the road here very soon, personalized for the patient. Next slide. All right, I am so honored to be able to bring on Mr. Patrick Shaw. He's a CEO of what we call Rapid Funnel. This is the platform we're utilizing for uh, here within Team Empire, within Euphoria. Uh, and guys, this is something that John Blot has come together with, uh, with Patrick Shaw, has put together uh, even before Euphoria had launched their, their free option of an app. Um, Patrick, I've known for the last 20, almost 20 years of, of my career in this industry. Uh, he was actually one of the main, uh, main mentors that I had learning from the, the ground. I mean, he has close to half a million people in his organization of the company he was building over the last 20 plus years, 25 years. Uh, he's made millions upon millions, but it's not about him that, that he's been able to financially benefit it's because he's been able to help other people achieve success. And so I've learned so much from this gentleman. I'm so excited to be working with him, especially uh, correlating uh, what we're doing here with Euphoria with Rapid Funnel. And we are so honored and privileged to be able to have Mr. Uh, Patrick Shaw, CEO of Rapid Funnel, here coming here today. Patrick, in line here with us, sir. Do you want to unmute yourself? There he is. I got him. I got him. 
Trying to meet you, Patrick. There you go. All right, perfect. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, great to be with you guys, Kyle. Thanks for the introduction. And, um, and listen, to all of you, to everybody listening, I mean, I'm impressed with what you guys are doing. I'm always impressed um, by people that really understand network marketing, and they get it at a high level. Now, I started, I was broke, 37 grand in debt, and I had to work my way up. I didn't get any, any of this system stuff. But I've had a chance uh, to see the, the best networkers in the world and how they operate and the systems that you guys are putting together right now, not just Rapid Funnel, but even like the text broadcast, that is so simple. And you get to choose, okay, who do I want to hear from? What's important to me? It's, it's, it's about duplication. Communication is part of that. Sharing the story of euphoria is part of it. When you go out and recruit, and hopefully joining us tonight, your goal is you want to build a large organization. Now, I have had a multiple six-figure income in network marketing and, frankly, in businesses that, that I don't even work anymore. And I still have a multiple six-figure income. And, and how is that possible? I was never the best recruiter. I really wasn't. I've recruited lifetime a few hundred people, but I've made more millions than I can count. How? Well, it was all about duplication and simplicity. What I was good at was helping brand new people recruit. And I think that's what new folks are looking for. They might love your company. They might love your product. They might even love you. <laughs> but ultimately, they're saying in their mind, is this something that I can do? Is this something that in my heart of hearts, what you did to me, can I actually do it to other people? And what you're going to see in the Rapid Funnel platform is an incredibly simple system that you can take every brand new recruit and you can show them how easy it is to build a business. They all have a smartphone on them and they need to use it intelligently. Now, just 10 years ago, you know, we were passing out DVDs and just a few years ago before that, we had VHS tapes. I mean, when I got started 20 years ago, there was nothing but a single VHS tape, a phone, and a meeting to invite people to. It was hard to mess it up. Today, there are so many different technologies, social media platforms, ad tag message, all these different things you can do that the truth is, many network marketing companies are struggling because it's no longer simple. And what the team is bringing you through Rapid Funnel is a very simple and duplicatable method for you to build a large organization. And I'm excited about that. I know this tool can have a huge impact on what you're doing and how you go about building the business. Now guys, I don't know why right now, I'm trying to, to see the screen share or the Zoom page. Um, is there a reason it disappeared on me or should I be able to see it? So I know what slide you guys are showing. Uh, why Rapid Funnel is where we're at right now, Patrick. The, we're talking about percent video tracking all the all the features that are, are unique in the business. I'm with you. I just don't understand why the page, the Zoom page, has seemingly disappeared. Ah, there it is. Okay, thank you. I got it now. Okay, I can see all your pretty faces, and I can see the slide now. Okay, so so I'll just I'll just close up this part real quick by telling you, on the app, right? Look, when I got started 20 years ago, my sponsor came to me and said, "Listen, I was complaining. Things aren't going well." He said, "Well, well, fax me your tracking sheet." And I said, what's that? And he explained to me the tracking sheet and that I said I was working 20 hours a week and that five minutes per exposure that, you know, I could do the math. How many exposures could I make if I spent at least half of my time making new exposures? And it took about five minutes to make an exposure. So the next time I complained, he said, fax me your tracking sheet. And I looked at my sheet and for the week I had talked to 10 people. Now at five minutes in exposure, that's 50 minutes. I knew when I sent him that sheet by fax that he was going to say, well, what did you do with the other 19 hours, Patrick? What I want you guys to understand is it's all on the app now. You can literally see how many total exposures you've made. You can see the quality of those exposures. You know how many of the people actually clicked on something you sent them. You could send it to them via social media. You could send it via text. You can send it via email. 
all the resources are built. And the team with Mike and the rest of the team, and I want to thank these guys because no matter how good this platform is, it takes champions. And you guys need to be the champions. So when somebody's struggling, you got to put your arm around them and say, look, I believe in you. I know we can do this together. Let me take a look at your app. And when there's a two in the box that says they've made a total of two exposures and it's the 28th of the month, right. don't beat them up. Just go, hey, we're going to do this together. What do you think this number needs to be? Use the Socratic method. Go to them and say, what do you think the number should be? Can I help you get to that number? It's amazing how people will step up. And the number is right there on the screen. I can see the quantity and the quality. We're actually looking at John Malott's screen, Mike. Is that right? This is a snapshot of his screen? That's right. So, so leaders lead by example. John Malott's made 423 personal exposures. He has 387 people engaged. That means of the 423 he sent information to, 91% have clicked on something, right? Now, I saw an earlier show, it's 44 is how many are hot prospects. That means 10% of the people have become hot prospects. Now, we have an algorithm in the app that 25% of the algorithm is how did you rate the person? 75% of it is the system. It's saying, did they watch more than 90% of a video? I can go into those hot prospects, look at the activity log, and see chronologically every single thing that that person has viewed. You call them up, and I call up Teresa. I say, hey, Teresa, I was just thinking about you. Um, I wanted to follow up with you on Euphoria. And she goes, oh, that's weird. I was just watching a video. Now, did I know that? Of course I knew that. Now, I don't have to explain it, but I could go, oh, that's awesome. What did you like about what you saw? Right? I know how to catch people at the right place at the right time. And that's only the beginning. For Micah and the team to have all the analytics to see what's working for you so they can start to improve the videos, the capture pages, the webinars, the email campaigns. For you to not build on rented land. Now, what do I mean? I went to this huge American Network Marketing Professionals event and they had Social Saturday. And everybody was talking about how they're building using social media. Now, I'm not against that, but I also talked to people at that event that said, I built my entire business on Facebook. I trusted Facebook. I had 30,000 people on Facebook and then Facebook changed the algorithm or Facebook turned off my page. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, I had no business. I'm not telling you not to build on Facebook. I'm telling you, you better have a way to pull that data out and put it into your app, and you own the data. Rapid Funnel doesn't own it. Facebook doesn't own it. This is your data, and nobody will ever use it except you, right? This, over 5, 10, and 15 years, is the difference between the superstars, the people that make extraordinary income. Some of you know a guy named... Well, he wrote uh, Brian Carruthers, who wrote uh, Build the Empire. He, he was one of the individuals in my organization. I went to his house once, and Brian recruited four people because he had an email list. Right now, he uses Rapid Funnel, as do sixty different of the fastest growing companies across the country. And you guys have the platform because, frankly, because John Malott and I have been friends for more than twenty years. Right, I've known John Malott, and you guys have a unique situation a special freemium model that most companies don't have. So that means you have a free model and you have an upgradable premium model. But the free model, most people are paying at least $10 a month for, and you have it at no cost. So I hope you guys at a bare minimum will leverage all the tools that are in the free platform. So Mike, I'll stop there. I'll chime in in different places here, but I applaud you guys not only for for you know, for building the business and making the commitment and all that, but, but your creativity around process, system, duplication, and then being the champion of it to make sure it gets driven. Uh, just appreciate you guys. Thanks, Patrick. I don't know if Kyle's jumping on, but I'll just move through this. Um, this is my wife, Misty, right next to me. And uh, I want to introduce her to the group. She is a nurse anesthetist, nurse practitioner, and she's super excited about the practitioner line when that comes. She's already getting doctors on nutrition and planting those seeds. So she's going to kill it and she's going to help me out with this presentation. 
Um, I just want to, again, reiterate, and I can't th say thank you enough, and we all need to just thank John Malott. Before there was a, you know, a Euphoria app, John spent tens of thousands of dollars to make Rapid Funnel happen. It is still the best tool in the business. It's an A-bomb. I've been in app development since the beginning, and I have not seen a marketing sales tool like this. I'm super pumped. And, you know, why I'm involved is because, look, we wouldn't let Facebook run our Facebook group, right? So just like Patrick said, very well said, that we need to own it, right? We need to take responsibility for it, and that's what we're doing. Make it better. It's never just done. You know, what's there right now is good enough to use right now and better than anything else out there. But we're going to make it better and better in here. Let me tell you why. Um, I just want to thank the rest of the Rapid Funnel team. Um, man, I put in, you know, 40, 60 hours with, with, with all this team and all this trying to repackage this and make it better for you. Again, it's great now. We're going to just keep, you know, taking a few strokes off our game and making it better. Jen Ashby and her team was, uh, is awesome to deal with. Um, thank you for any of you that I called and wanted to get feedback, what you've been successful with Rapid Funnel, what you haven't been. You know, our top leaders, um, they're putting in so much behind the scenes like Tina Sherry Girl. Uh, Michael Schwarting, Lori Court, and then Kyle McGregor and Sean, you know, we sat through a couple three-hour sessions learning what we needed to learn. You know, Sean Zimmer has, he showed me 200 in his Facebook Messenger that he hadn't replied to, you know, and he was spending six hours on here trying to make Rapid Funnel better for you guys and when he could have been closing things. So I just wanted my hats off to those guys for doing what it takes, rolling up their sleeves. I know they're busy out making their exposures and they're here to help. So thank you guys for all, all, all that support. So let me talk about some of the enhancements. How many of you guys use iDecide? It's great, right? Two weeks ago, I sent one cold, and somebody just bought a DNA kit, one of her friends, <laughs> and I was amazed. Uh, we have iDecide integration, but let me tell you what that means. There's a few phases to this, and there's more meetings this week, but we got the first phase done, and that's just link tracking. You're not going to get a link in your app saying when they finished it. That's iDecide's going to do that, right? But we, we are going to work towards full in integration. I'll show you how we... Uh, incorporated I decide that was one of the first things we needed to get done zoom tracking everyone talks about hey you know we want to incorporate zoom well we have zoom it's in the in the calendar right now you click the calendar we're going to show you how to invite via zoom now what we're talking about is enhancing zoom even further in the next coming weeks months um, we're going to do zoom, zoom meeting tracking which means just like when you send a video resource you're going to be able to track that that person clicked on the Zoom meeting and is watching the Zoom meeting, and you're also going to know when they get off, so you can follow up at that perfect time, like Patrick said. So beyond that, at the end of our meetings, we say, hey, get back to the person that you got with, and we're going to have a little link there, and that's going to actually go to your replicated website. So there's a lot of things we're working on with Zoom. You know, some of you have told me that the thumbnails and videos were not good, and we went through and we changed a lot of the thumbnails. That's already done. We're going to be doing new surveys you know, targeted towards fitness, gyms, all types of things. Um, so be looking for that in the next coming weeks. More user-friendly drips. That's something you guys said we wanted to expand upon and make better. Um, and we're also going to get, we've already fired up to Disrupt Puerto Rico. We're going to be doing bi-weekly and monthly contests where we can brag and have a little fun, a little gamemanship, right? A little gamification. So we're also going to be doing something really cool. If any of you know how Facebook Messenger chat works and you use it and you've embedded it on a website, we're working to get that embedded into Rapid Funnel. So not only when somebody watches a video, a little chat bot pops up and says, hey, how'd you like the video? And it's you. And they can talk with you right on Messenger or a text messaging app. And we get them to text message you back and forth. So that's just crazy stuff. You are going to see so many conversions and in Rapid Funnel. Just stick with us and keep plugging away. All right, let's get into some meat of this. Um, what we got, and this detail, this is one of the new looks we're launching for Euphoria. I, took, I stole your thunder, didn't I? That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to be the new look of Rapid Funnel that now has Euphoria integrated. It looks very similar. Yep. Yep. And then we're also, as Patrick said, launching the freemium model. And here's what's included. Now, before it was just a three-day three -day, uh, trial. Now it's freemium. Um, so you're still going to get all the videos uh, that are on the Euphoria resources page. Um, I know I love those um, that you can access through the freemium version. Easy to use categories. We have videos, products, and business. Uh, we have some limited additional resources that are available through there that you can just send right out to, you know, contact, um, as well as campaigns. 
Uh, you won't have access to the activity logs or stats through the freemium version, uh, but and some limited push notifications and email alerts will also be available. But you know, if it's somebody that you know wasn't using Rabbit Funnel at all before, this is a great way to you know dip your toe in the water. Get in there, yep. And all of the SNP videos. You asked for that. The SNP videos are going to be up there. They are now, but they aren't completely live yet. All right, so I'm going to fix this. You know, how do we make decisions? Obviously, input from the top leaders. They know what's working. Feedback from you. We also have quite a bit of analytics in the background. We know what video people are dropping off, where they're dropping off, what's the most watched video, what's uh, actually making conversions and contact with you, and also that end user tracking. So we're using data to make important decisions. And this tools like this, that why we're going to win in the business and continue to win. Um, so. You know, there's nothing wrong with this. I mean, I use it. This is my sheet right here. Uh, it's the way to go. I got a few duplicate names. But uh, if you're really, you know, a horde of your time and every minute is important to you, you can save a lot of time by using Rapid Funnel. All right. So the premium app, this is what we now are moving the trial to 30 days instead of three. The uh, import importing of contacts, multiple. We're gonna cover some of this, sorting the hot leads, the teammates accountability where you can share with people on your team uh, and make sure you're meeting the exposures that you said you were gonna do, tracking notifications, um, the activity log, text message scripts. You know, uh, we're gonna get into that a little bit more. You know, we, we've actually come up with all kinds of scripts that work and you can choose those and use those as text messages or, or Instagram messages. Detailed stats, more surveys, prospecting funnels, automated flow like the one Misty just showed you, more contests, opportunity webinars, uh, share via social messaging. You get all that with the premium app for 20 bucks a month. And of course, we're adding a whole new section, which is called coaching. And it's short snippets from all the top leaders uh, coaching you on how to be successful. So I want to introduce my friend right now, Curry Russell. He's been in web development for years. I don't know, 20 years, I think. Um, he's in, been in app development. He's technical minded. Uh, he knows his stuff. He likes to have fun. And he's going to help me carry through some of the basics now of Rapid Funnel. Now, we're going to cover some basics, but we're going to cover some new things that you hadn't heard. So if you know and are an active user of Rapid Funnel, stick with me. We're going to get into some pro-level stuff. But right now, let's just cover the basics on how to install. Terry, uh, Curry, take it away, brother. Thank you. Mike, Micah, thank you very much. Thank you all for uh, having me and listening to this uh, short little bit that I'm going <laughs> to give my 10 cents on. But guys, you can just go to any of your app stores, whether it's the, the Apple store, the, the Play store, whichever, whichever format you wanna use, you can even use this online. So like I've got Rapid Funnel actually pulled up on a web browser right now. But if you're installing this on your phone, go to your Play store, get the, get the version that you want, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that during that process, you put in your group code as uh, either uh, Team Empire or Group Code Euphoria. It, don't, don't jump ahead yet. I just wanted to make gotcha. on that installation part. That's always uh, the, the very first thing. Um, but once you get inside the app, you want to, you want to, before you do anything else, go to your settings area and you want to update all of your individual settings. So you want to put your refer code. That's the, that's the code you use at the end of your um, euphoriascience.com slash Whatever it is is your referrer code, that's what you're going to use as your referrer code inside the system. So you don't need to put the whole web page. And by, by the way, there's a little question mark right there beside the change button, and it tells you exactly what to do. This is, this is uh, as a hillbilly from West Virginia, this is hillbilly proof. I'm just going to say that it's, it's really too simple. So you click the little question mark, it gives you any of the, the instructions that you need step by step. Make sure, and I know this is tough for some people, make sure you always put your Facebook URLs, your Twitter URLs, your LinkedIn URLs, uh, all of your contact information, because if you don't, and let's say that you know someday you just post a link in a group, right? And you post that link and it goes out to the, to the world and then, you know, six months from now somebody finds it and they want to talk to you personally. If you don't have all those referral notifications on there, they're not going to find you. So go to notifications. 
Yep. Uh -huh. Make sure that you have your check boxes where you want your notifications. So if people interact with the things that you should, from your resources, if they interact with those, you want to get notified instantly. I love being notified that somebody just watched, somebody just clicked a, a resource that I sent them. It then re replies again. They just watched two minutes and 54 seconds of this video. And, and then I get information for the events. All of that comes directly to me by email and text if I cho chose that option. Um, and then we go to account settings and the t specifying your time zone. So making sure that all of your information is correct. You want to make sure your, cell, your phone number is correct. If that phone number is not right and then you go, well, how come I'm not getting all my text notifications? <laughs> You, you definitely want to make sure your numbers are right and make sure your time zones are right. So you're getting notified in the right time zone. Absolutely. And how do you put back to you, man? Yeah. The I decide code, when you go into I decide, I'll tell about, talk about that real quick. In the bottom right, you got post. That's what you're supposed to post to social media unless you're posting a name. Go to there, hit post and take that little code at the end and stick it in there where it says I decide. Then your I decide will be live. If you have any questions, message me on that. We'll talk more about that but I didn't want to get lost in those weeds. Let's talk about just getting around the interface of Rapid Funnel, okay? So if you click your statistics, that 91% there, you're gonna see these. Now you can, you can drop these uh, arrows down to see more, and this is your total engagement, the resources open, and email opt-in. Very good to pay attention to your statistics and where you are. Um, are, you, are you sending qualified? Are, you, are they cold? Are they warm? This is a good gauge of how you're doing. Um, in the resources, these are all the opportunities and videos. This is how you get to those. We're going to show you how to send those in a few more slides. Just want to do a little overview of campaigns. A lot of people don't know that these are in here. And what is a drip campaign? Uh, when you first sign somebody up for email, you can either put them in the opportunity drip or the product drip. And that means over the next few days, if they opt in, they're going to get these emails. We're working to improve these drips. So, you know, some of the feedback was duplication of, you know, I already sent them a form and I'm sending them a form on day five. We're going to fix those things. We're going to always be improving this to get better conversions for you. But this is what the opportunity team builder looks like. Um, Micah, yes, sir. I, I want everybody to understand here. Like this has never been done in network marketing. People have created content resources and campaigns, but they've created them for themselves. What happens with all of these resources, campaigns, capture page, emails, is they're sent from you to your prospect. So it's like they were all created for you. So tens of thousands of dollars of creative, all the expertise that Micah and all the other people, part of the team, Curry and everybody else have brought to the table, Kyle, all of this is delivered from you to the prospect. So it's like you paid for it personally. So when the email goes to the prospect, it's coming from you, even though it's from our server, your prospect doesn't know it. It has your, it's from you to them. If they respond, they respond directly back to your personal email address, right? And there's a 99.7% delivery rate. Now, if you know email, nobody delivers at that rate. Opt-in rates on average email campaigns are two, three, and 4%. Our average opt-in rates are closer to 35%. Well, how is that possible? Because it's person to person. Right. When I go to Mike and I go, hey, man, I was just thinking about you. I want to drop you a little bit of information via email. Do you got your phone? Check the email I just sent you. And the email says, hey, Micah, this is Patrick. Did I get your email correct? And you're like, oh, yeah, you did. Right? That, that's an opt-in, but it's not, it's not presented like an opt-in campaign. It's not a bunch of big, long, wordy copy. It's you sending them some specific resource and the data backs up the fact that it's powerful. So even if you're a millennial and you're saying, well, people don't check email. Well, that's not actually true. They just don't check it quickly. <laughs> but you're not using email for a quick response. You're using text for a quick response. You're using social media for a quick response. But if you can't get them off the fence in two weeks, put them in an email campaign and eight months from now, when they're really fed up with their job, with their health, when that person becomes the right person at the right time, all of a sudden the email worked and you had long forgotten about them. Absolutely. 
It's amazing. You know, I, I send somebody something and two weeks later, they're watching a video. And I'm like, I didn't send them a video today. It's because of the drip campaign. Now, like Patrick said, if you click on any of these, a lot of people don't know this, it will actually call the drip message that's going out. So you can see this, like Patrick said, it's personalized and it's from you. And I can tell you, I've been mass texting and email for over a decade. And that is a great delivery rate. And they do that because they're not blasting hundreds and thousands of people. It's one-to-one -one communication. And, and that's, that's the tool of Rapid Funnel. So that's what a drip campaign is. That's the follow-up. So make sure you put their email in there and try to assign them, if it's appropriate, to either the product or the opportunity because you're going to see a lot of residual benefit from that. Oh, and then the contest. Um, here we go today. We got Rochelle in the lead, Curry's in second, Sean. Only been doing it a few more Ooh. days. He's up there, number three. Um, Malat and myself, we're battling it out, so for bragging rights. But uh, check that out each day. We'll get into the specifics of what goes into exposures and contacts uh, later on, but we need to move on for the sake of time. Curry, I'll let you take the contact interface of Rapid Funnel. Awesome, man. And by the way, Patrick, uh, I think I still pay $29 a month just for AWeber, and it has 0.08% delivery rate so that to thousands of emails so it's, it's terrible so I'm, I'm paying way more money to get way less impact so thank you very much uh, with your context and where you you know you have the option of importing everything or only one or two of your contacts so don't think that because you put this on your phone it's gonna suck in every one of your contacts and it's gonna instantly broadcast everything out to them there's a weird fear uh, that people have where they think that it's going to do something like that. But in our, the wizard of this tool at the top right hand corner, uh, you're going to be able to import the, you know, a one person or multiple people. And then based on your communication with them. So, and I'm going to talk about something. I know it's not in the slides at the moment, but one of the resources is the, the, the survey. <laughs> what I love about the survey it has one question that I'm, I, I'm passionate about, and it is, are you open to some valuable information, valuable information? And every time that somebody says yes, the moment that they do, I, I have two steps. I hit the send resources and put them in the product funnel, and then I instantly hit the dial button and call them. It's, that's, my, that's the only thing that I do. So having the ability to get these contacts and know exactly who's, you know, in, you know, whose information is where you can now assign those drips, whether it's the, the product or the opportunity, you can label them. Or, or are you, are you pushing the button? Sorry, man. I was looking at, there you go. Product or opportunity right there. You can, you can, you can hit the assign and specify which one you want. You can now create custom labels. So let's say that, you met that person at, at Starbucks or wherever. You can create any types of groupings of labels that you want to create so that you will recognize that specific person. You can specify notes. So I love that he put in here that uh, this person sells the, the Kangen water, uh, the, you know, where he met that person at and who they know. So you can specify any type of notes that, you know, girl with the brown hair, uh, had the, had the shiny shoes on you, anything. We're just going to make up all kinds of stuff right now. <laughs> you can set reminders. So let's say that you talked to uh, Stacy. Stacy had a great conversation with you, but Stacy said that she wasn't going to be available until next month. This has happened to me. This is my exact example. Her name ain't Stacy. <laughs> she, she wasn't going to be available until next month. So I hit the reminder button set a reminder for one month from today to call Stacy. And it literally notified me, hey, you've got an appointment to talk to Stacy. And I go, why did I have an appointment to talk to this person a month later? But I had the notes that I, where I wrote down that said she wasn't ready. I pulled her up, hit the dial button, called her. She, she said she was ready to get started. So in your activity log, guys, I use activity log. Uh, this might be one of my most favorite things in this system. It actually shows you every single thing that takes place with the contact. So if you are blindly sending a link, you're not gonna get as much feedback as you would if you created the contact first and then sent the resource attached to that contact. I hope you understand what I just said. 
<laughs> because that's, that's the most powerful way to use this tool is to always send a resource assigned to a contact. Absolutely. You, you want to do that. So that way you can track every single thing you got. Hey, Curry, just to be clear so they understand it, just go to contacts, right, the contact screen, and then click send the resource button. Yep. And then we take you to resources, and then you send the resource. And you say, well, what's the difference? Is that we literally change the link. So when you go to the page that, that Curry's showing right now, um, Michelle's page, and you click send resource, it'll take you here. You click the one for you. You send that resource. We change the link so it's trackable back to Michelle. Now when you go to the activity log, this is what Curry's telling you. You can see chronologically exactly how much of the video she watched versus if you want to send a resource generically to your Facebook page and maybe it's a survey or something and you want to ask everybody in Facebook, hey, who'd be willing to take my one minute survey? They take the survey, they fill out the sheet that creates a new contact. You don't want that survey connect to a contact. I hope you understand the difference, but you'll get more comfortable. Curry, I'll throw one other thing out there because you mentioned AWeber. This you may not even be aware of. You're obviously very savvy on the app, but when you label those prospects, you go to your dashboard, and more than 50 exposures in the app, a feature will turn on in your back dashboard that you can write your own emails to your prospects based on labeling. What? Yeah. And so it's like, it's like you have the AWeber account built in and you're getting our delivery rates because you've proven that you have a high opt-in rate. Yes. So this is why when you put people into a campaign, you want to make sure they're actually clicking on the link and joining that campaign. Because as long as you have a reasonably high opt-in rate and you've made more than 50, you put more than 50 people in a campaign, we turn it on so you can deliver emails to anybody based on labels. Yeah, wow. and, and I absolutely have used it in the web-based platform, Patrick. That's thank awesome. You. And Patrick, thank you. You covered the next slides for us perfectly. Okay. Um, that send a resource, you select the contact, then select the resource. The one for you and the one report for you is generally the best one, they're the short three minute ones, you know them. And then hit, you see down at the bottom, you can send it via email, through your message client, text, or over here the share button. The share button is going to pull up uh, where you can send it through Instagram messaging, Facebook Messenger, or it's very important to know if you have something else out there that's not here, like WhatsApp or I don't know what you're using, <laughs> hit copy to the clipboard and that will paste it into whatever other client you're using right there, copy to clipboard, okay? Uh, you can do that and, and send it to an, another messaging client that's not listed here. Now, here we got, I sent text messages this time. So you can see I sent the one for you here, the smart links that Patrick's talking about. That's unique to this person. That's what uh, unifies the tracking, so to speak. And I could see that she watched 100% of those, so I followed up with the Mission Nutrition. And look what I said. Hey, it's a little longer, almost seven minutes, but this is a new video. I'm a great overview. Definitely my fave. She was engaged with that, so I sent her the I Decide. And, and that's how it's done. I mean, you, you can- That's awesome, man. That's the way to do it. And, and yep, she's and she signed up. So uh, let's talk about sending events. Go ahead, Curry. It's very All right, guys. It, it, this this has actually just been enhanced. So thanks to Micah and and all the people who put together all the events that. I, and by the way, I'm going to say this right now. I've never been in a company that had so many available events for opportunities. Like I've never been in a company that it's, you know, usually you, you know, you have your weekly meeting or you have your, you know, what we have almost an event for an opportunity every single day of the week. And Mike has taken the time to put those in here. So what you can now do is actually go down to your more option at the bottom right hand corner and you can click that button and it will bring up all of your events by choosing events. He didn't put that slide in there, but it's okay. You <laughs> or you can click the events right there. Yeah. Right. That's right. You can click the events. And once you do, you'll see the ones that have the green dots. And once that green dot is there, you can either join from that event or you can click the share button, which would, once you click an event, you'll see the share at the bottom middle. It'll be a black little, little arrow, white arrow. There. You click the share button 
And you can share that to a text message. You can share it out to a Facebook message. You can share it out to a, to an Instagram message. You can share it wherever you want to share it to. And what's going to happen is if you share that out, it'll actually, you'll get notified that that person clicked on the link. So you know who did what guys, the tracking, the tracking in this app is the best tracking I've seen in anything I've ever used. It's true. And it's, it's been, it's been fabulous this past, past few months playing with it. And as you can see, we've pre-written this for you too. You don't have to use it, so rewrite as needed. Um, but uh, we're always looking to improve those, so feedback is great, positive or negative, on how to, how to send some of those pre-written texts. Um, getting support. We're wrapping up, folks. Wow, we did pretty good on time, but we can take this a little further. Um, getting support, okay? If you go to your right-hand side there, you'll see that there's support right here with the question mark, okay? Um, if you click that, it will take you to a lot of general FAQs. You can actually search through them. So if you're, if you're having a problem, search through it there, put it into the search bar right up there. But there's also this little button on the bottom right, okay? The bottom right will actually pop up a message that goes right to Rapid Funnel. okay? Don't send them something like, help. They can't help you. Be helpful and take a screenshot of your issue that helps okay I found out I've been in app development since the beginning and I, I can't tell you how much this helps and to get a quick question resolved very quickly is to see a, a screenshot otherwise we're flying blind so try to give a good description the better you give that the quicker somebody's going to be able to help you send the, uh, the, uh, the screenshot by attaching it right there and then hit send of course you can also email rapid funnel a lot of things that work uh, is reinstalling the app, sometimes making sure, I mean, if, if you get on the phone or, or back and forth, they're going to tell you to reinstall or get the latest version, check your connections. I can't tell you how many times I've had somebody, well, my email's not working and they don't have an internet connection. Well, make sure you have a solid internet connection or the app is not going to load properly. There's some things that are native and not native. So if you don't have a connection, it can't bring those down. Curry and I are not rapid funnel support. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> you know, we've given a lot of time to help you with this, but we want to hear your feedback. But the support issues go to Rapid Funnel, so thank you for that. Let's, uh, we're wrapping up here with best practices, and we're kind of going to get in a little kind of round table discussion. Mike, uh, some folks want to know the difference in group codes. Could you explain that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, if I didn't before, uh, right now, Team Empire is our group code, okay? When you install the app from scratch, you're going to be asked for a group code. Put Team Empire in there. We will notify you when the Euphoria one is finished with the new designs and the new resources and not some and repurpose things and all the extra things that we talked about. We anticipate, we thought we were going to have them done by tonight, but we might have them done in the next week, two weeks. We'll always be adding and making it better. Um, again, what we have right now is good enough than anything out there. So use it. There's no excuse not to. Um, so that's the difference between group codes. If you saw the screenshot, you can actually put both group codes in now. So go ahead and, and do that. Um, all right, so best practices. I'm going to turn it back over to Kyle McGregor. Um, he's the man and strategist at this point for these kind of things. And if he's around, go ahead, Kyle. If not, I'll talk to it, brother. Which resources are the best to send and when? Okay, I'll talk about it. Um, this will just be a round table. <laughs> The, Mike, he's trying to talk, but his audio is not. Working. Okay, let me find him. I'm sorry. That's right. I forgot I'm, I'm kind of doing this. Sorry, brother. I'm trying to find you. There you are. No, you're unmuted, man. There he is. All right, can you, can you hear me okay? Yes, sir. Can you hear me okay? Yep. You're good, man. Good we can stuff. hear you. All right, fantastic. Good. So uh, best practices, guys. So at the, at the end of the day, our main objective here is just to get the information in people's hands. We want people to make an informed decision from the information we deliver. We don't want to tell them what we're talking about. We want to show them. This is a show business, not a tell business, okay? We want to tell as many people, but show them the information from the resources. Let the tool do the work, okay? So one of the most important things is the average person has a very small time frame of attention span, okay? So uh, these simple, basic videos that we have, the one for you is the basic thing that we show people very first and foremost. That's what I do all day, every day. Why? Because a three-minute video, it gives a full comprehensive compre uh, description of what the product does, how it works, so on and so forth. And the average person needs five to seven exposures to make a decision, right? So they're not going to maybe not get it from the very first moment they see it. 
But that space repetition is the mother of all learning. So little by little, they'll be able to understand it more and more. But the attention span will be small. So we want to show, show them first that three-minute video with the one for you. And if they need more information, then you help them show them another video, like the Bishop Nutrition or the one report for you that talks about how the DNA report or the wellness report works, okay? So the first and foremost, you want to just show them that simple three-minute video. Let them do that. Let, them, let that do the work for you. And then take them to the next step, either have them see the, uh, another tool or resource, which would be maybe mission nutrition, and or put them on the phone with somebody else, uh, an expert, to be able to help answer the questions for them with a thir uh, third-party uh, conversation, which would be a three-way phone call. All right? So hopefully that helped answer that question. Thank you, Kyle. Absolutely. Um, and check stats and push alerts uh this is like christmas to me i've had some e-commerce businesses where you know you get your orders and they're just coming in you know that feeling right that's what you feel when you see somebody watch 100 percent. oh they're engaged so i'm constantly looking at my uh push alerts so i'm sure if you've got good push alert management make sure you check those frequently and your stats again enable email notifications can't say that enough especially if you're using gmail with the snooze button they all come in each video they click and then it also gives you an email with the percentage that they watched it's great reminders to follow up um, and then again like Kyle said remake rewrite I mean rewrite what makes sense right I mean we're taking all the best practices from the people that are killing it in the industry and we're putting them in those messages they may not always fit we know that that may be annoying to you to to erase that sometimes well give us feedback what's better and prove that it's working for you and we'll, 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 you know, we'll probably change it, you know, but we got to do what works for best everybody. And it's a heck of a lot better than just leaving it blank. Right. Cause if well, that, just remember, everybody's we'll different different way. Way. you know, this is not a cookie cutter. Remember right. this. Okay. Because maybe you had a great conversation with a little more detail in the, in the communication. They wanted that information. So you could even lead with the mission nutrition. Okay. But at the end of the day, again, we're walking down this path of discovery. We want to help them see the bigger picture. And we, that's why I usually lead with a three minute, three minute video because it's very comprehensive. It's not hypey. It's very to the point, but maybe they want, the, they want that full disclosure. So you gotta, you gotta see who they are, right? Cause there's different personality types. Some people want more information right here, right now. Right? So that'll be your own discretion of what you choose to send. We always suggest leading with the most simplistic, the shortest video possible. However, the misnutrition is a phenomenal video you can lead with. So again, this is not cookie cutter, but again, it's just helping them comprehend it in the, the time that they need to understand it in. And hopefully that makes sense. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, this is duplication and it's training. You know, I, I can't tell you, not just in this business, it's just a three minute video. That works. Um, telling them how long the video is. It works uh and engages them if you don't do that they probably won't click it so that's a that's a a list function right there the hot list is accurate so use it and pay attention to it um let's go into q a and start wrapping this up we're uh, about 45 minutes 50 minutes in now so we want to open the discussion i was reading some of the chats um you know i saw what what's the difference let me just let ask patrick patrick give us you know in the back end we have a a 50 percent method or uh, uh, a resource must be watched 50% to count. And I know we can adjust that. Can you give us a little bit? People are asking me, hey, well, I, I sent these and it doesn't count on, on the contest. You know, what's going on? The app's broke. Like, if you can talk to that and how they can measure that and, and, and what you use, that would be great to understand. You bet. So, you bet. So, real simply, what we count in the contest is we count a unique exposure. So if the, if, if the contact's already in the app and you got them to click on something, it doesn't count, right, if they've watched it before. It's a unique exposure who clicked on something. Now, they might have filled out a survey, just clicked on a link, watched the video. Any action that shows that a brand new unique prospect viewed some information, that's going to count in the contest. Because, and, and I won't go too deep in this, guys, but... You know, for those of you that really want to be, you know, crazy students, go read a book called The Four Disciplines of Execution. It's an incredible business book. It relates as much to network marketing as any network marketing book I've ever read, but it's not a network marketing book. It's by the Franklin Covey organization. Chris McChesney and Sean Covey wrote it. It says there's four disciplines. Number one, what's your wildly important goal? You better know what it is. There's probably a reason that you're here 
and then figure out what your lead measure is. What are the two or three things that are most relevant to your success in this business? And do you know what they are in network marketing? Quantity and quality of exposures. There's a reason why John Mallott and Sean are on the leaderboard right now. It's quantity and quality of exposures. All the best people in the business, even though I was never a massive personal recruiter, I was always in massive personal recruiting mode through my team's prospects, right? I'd say, hey, let me, let me look at your list. Who can we call right now? It was always, let's talk to somebody brand new right now, right? And, and that is what the app is telling you, and that's what we're measuring in rewards, quantity and quality of exposures. And then th third and fourth, just so you know, is a scorecard. Well, you have a scorecard in the app. And fourth is a cadence of accountability. Create a culture in the organization around the lead measure, which is prospecting and follow-up, which means you need a scoreboard, and now you can create a culture. That's what we're talking about. When we talk about rewards, we're talking about creating a team culture that is built around let's tell the story more often. So if, so if there's something wrong in the algorithm that's not measuring that, then we really want to hear it. But I think you'll discover it's pretty accurate um, uh, in that regard. So uh, hopefully that helps. Thanks, Patrick. I got a few questions I can answer real quickly. Can I use my phone and laptop? That's a great question. Yes, you can. You can actually log in from a desktop screen and use it. Um, mine has Micah's info at the bottom. Okay, that's only true on some of the events, like this event. Each event has a contact info for the event and who's putting it on. Um, some of those are repeating events, and they may have mine because we don't want to bother Tina when her event's about to go on. But uh, I can change that. But I can guarantee you that my contact information is nowhere on your pages or resources. Um, there was another one. Is there a way to add, this is a good one, Patrick, maybe for product development. Is there a way to add contacts for Messenger? I think I know the answer. <laughs> yeah, only on, only on the manual process. So all, all a new contact is, is literally a name. It's not even a phone number or an email. So if you went to Messenger and said, okay, this is a prospect, we, we'll make this automated. But you just put their name in and then send them a resource via Messenger. If they click on that resource, it now qualifies for the contest because it's a unique prospect who was sent something via social media, you didn't even need their phone or email. You can Patrick, add that later. Patrick, can I, can I jump in on that? Because I've added hundreds and hundreds of people from Facebook Messenger. Um, I, literally, it's my most uh, used resource. And, and I was, uh, the, the way that I do this, and hopefully uh, some, of, some other people out there adopt this method because it works incredibly well. I actually created a, a using my cell phone, my, my smartphone, uh, I took a 30 second clip of myself asking somebody to take a look at a three minute video. I didn't give away any of the uh, product, I didn't give away the company name, I didn't give away anything other than, hey, I'm really excited about something, I'd like you to take a look at a three minute video, do you have time? And I just, and Facebook gives you the ability to forward that video inside Messenger and all I do is, you know, two or three times a day, I forward that same simple video to 30 people at a time, just one right after the other. And I just endlessly, and I'll get five or six people who go, yeah, I'd love to watch. And literally I go in and create the contact in Rapid Funnel. I create the contact in Rapid Funnel first, and then I go to the resource on their contact and send them the three minute video and it tracks it. I've been, this is the most powerful, simple, stupid thing there is. It really is amazing. That's awesome, man. That's good stuff. Yeah, we need to do a video on that, Curry, and share with everyone. That's, that is awesome. Um, you know, we're going to shut it down for the sake of time. Um, but, uh, you know, we really enjoyed this. We don't want to go too long. We want to be respectful of your time. And uh, I can't hit the thank you screen, but that's okay. Uh, we're we're going we'll to be doing additional trainings, guys. We're, we're going to take the, the content, the information we shared to you today. Okay? We're going to be adding uh, additional benefits, the things that we're going to be continually add to the platform, but also train and coach and teach you guys how to utilize this, this simplistic platform to, to make a, a simple, duplicatable 
uh, you know, organization where everybody can just share the information simplistically. Again, this is about utilizing technology to, to throw up the net, to bring people in, to build those relationships, to show them the bigger picture, guys. That's the whole point of this. Keep it simple. Simplify to multiply, my friends.